hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you a very nifty tool which is called as word lava word lava is a utility for national language processing tasks it is also a word embedding model that recycles component from llms to create efficient and compact word representation such as word to vector or fast text Word Llama begins by extracting the token embedding codebook from a state-of-the-art LLM such as Llama 2 or Llama 3 and training a small context-less model in a general-purpose embedding framework which is similar to what we have in Matryoshka representation learning. I know that these words are quite big so I will try to make it as simple as possible in this video and for that I believe that it will be easier to show you and then we will see and explain what exactly is happening. So we will be installing this word llama locally and then we will play around with it. Before I do that let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent an affordable GPU, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of a GPU. So do check them out, please. Now, let me take you to my terminal and then I will show you the specs of my system. So you can see that I am running this Ubuntu 22.04. And let me quickly show you my GPU card 2, with, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM but for this one you don't need uh, any GPU you can simply run these on CPU too. Let me clear the screen. First up let me create a virtual environment with Skoda. I'm just calling it WL. Let's wait for it to finish. So what we are going to do here now we are first going to install Word Llama and with PyTorch of course and then we will play around with it in the Python interpreter. So my Conda environment is created. I'm just launching PyTorch and Word Llama with this simple pip install Word Llama. So let's wait for it to finish installing. Okay, everything is installed here. Let me clear the screen and let me launch my Python interpreter where we will be using this. So first up, let's import the Word Llama. And next up, let's download the default model of Word Llama. And I will explain it in a bit. So you see here, it has downloaded L2 SuperCat tokenizer config and also the L2 model here. So this is the model which this creator has created, which contains Llama 2 vocabulary. It And to train this model, he concatenated code books from several models, including Llama 2 70 billion and 53 medium. Because several models have used the Llama 2 tokenizer, their code books can be concatenated and trained together. But you, he also has another model which is called as L3 SuperCat, which is based on Llama 3.1. Now, just to give you a bit more idea here, what this word Llama is doing here is it is tackling three things: Matryoshka representation. Matryoshka representation means that it is truncating embedding dimensions as needed. Embedding is nothing but a numerical representation of your text or tokens. That's about it. And when we say Matryoshka representation, Matryoshka representation learning is a training technique of models where a smaller model learns to represent data inside a larger model. And that improves complex data understanding. And that is what this word llama is poised to do. So you see that we have imported this word llama. We have loaded this model. Next up, let me show you how you can calculate similarity between two sentences. So if we give it these two sentences, I went to the car and I went to the pawn shop. This W uh, L, what it is going to do, it is just going to do similarity run. So what it is going to do, it is going to use this L2 supercat tokenizer to convert this text into embeddings or numerical representation. Then it is going to compare um, those numerical representation to see how similar they are and it gives the output in numerical values 
between 0 to 1. If the more similar they are, the value will be closer to 1 and the more dissimilar they would be, the value would be closer to 0. So we have calculated the similarity score. Let's print it. There you go. So it's very, very close to 0 0.06 because these two sentences are quite different. For example, instead of this and you say here that uh, I get into the car and then you just simply run this. Let me print the score. Okay, I think I just uh, didn't do the indentation properly. Let me do it properly now. This is a Python interpreter as you can see. There you go. See, now it is closer to one because these two sentences are quite similar. Okay, let me clear the screen by pressing Control capital L. You can also use this model to rank the documents as per query. For example, look at this example. First up, we have given it a query like I went to the car and then we have given it some candidate documents like I went to the park, I went to the shop, went to the truck and I went to the vehicle. So and then we are ranking with the help of this query and candidate. So let me print the rank docs. Uh, docs. So you see I went to the vehicle, it is closer to the car, so quite close to one. I went to the truck, that's not because car and truck are quite different. So point two, I went to the shop nopes and then i went to the park nopes so you see this is how um, you can even use this to rank the documents and there are a lot of other uh, stuff which you can do for example you can do fuzzy deduplication if you like you can even you can even do the k-means here with the help of this cluster yeah sorry because i haven't defined these docs i can maybe just go with ranked docs or something like that and then you can even uh, filter the query with the help of threshold that how many you want you can even uh, if you like go with top k hyperparameter which can return top k strings based on the query and something like this and top k hyperparameter specifies the number of highest scoring predictions which is k to consider as valid outputs from a model and that filters out the rest to improve precision and reduce notes. There you go. So this is how easy it is to use this very lightweight model to do all sort of this embedding magic. So that's it guys. If you're looking for a fast lightweight NLP toolkit that handles tasks like fuzzy dedo, similarity and ranking with minimal inference time dependencies and it is also optimized for CPU, then maybe have a look at this word llama. I will drop the link to it in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.